Hello. Hello. Just wait a moment to give everyone a chance to pop in. It's been a while since I did one of these, I know. Self <laughs> comfy. Hopefully people are being notified. It's been so long, I'm not sure that I've done it properly. Oh, there we go. Somebody's here. Hello. Thank you for joining me. Lovely to see you. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, it has been quite a while since I did one of these. I'm meant to do one at least once a month, but the last time I did one was September. <laughs> so, you know, life just happens. Hello. Hi, Jazzy. <laughs> Good to see you. Hello, everybody. Hello. So, yes, I have been super duper busy. Um, I haven't really, even the thought to do this hasn't really. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Hasn't even crossed my mind to do one of these for ages. Hello, Joanne. Hello, hello. Lovely to see you all. Okay, so um, what have I been doing? What's been keeping me so busy? So um, I have been away a lot, teaching workshops and things. Um, I spent the whole of November pretty much away, <laughs> which was really, really wonderful, but it went way too quick, way too quick. So we travelled up. We left home on the 1st of November and we got home on the 28th of November. <laughs> so it really was a big long trip away, um, which we needed. We had lots of fun, but I also did quite a few workshops. I did 14 workshops and as well as my special day in Brisbane. So it was super fun. We travelled up through, started off in Bendigo. We did a couple of workshops in Bendigo at the Woolen Mills, which was awesome. Um, then we went up to Bathurst, where I did some workshops there, stayed a couple of nights there. Um, then I went to Dubbo, to Yummy Yarn & Co, which was awesome. I did two days of workshops there and that was so fun. Great space, great shop, love it. Um, then I went, we went up to Warwick and stayed with family and that's in Queensland. <laughs> and I did a day of workshops at the art gallery there which was fun and it was great. I got to meet some people for the first time. That's where I met Kim, who made the pink Nimue anyway for me and other things. That's where Kim lives, so I got caught up with Kim there and met some other new friends. Um, then we went to, we went and stayed with other family up near Bribie Island and I didn't do any workshops. <laughs> we just chilled. <clears throat> After that, we went to Brisbane where I did my day with, with Shelly. So that was a super fun day. It was the first time I'd ever done anything like it before. Um, I realised that um, when you go to workshops and things, sometimes it can be, it's fun, it's great, I, I love it, um, but it can be a little bit draining and tiring and sometimes you don't necessarily want to learn anything new and you just want to hang out with people who like doing what you do. <laughs> so I organised a day in Brisbane at the Grand Chancellor in Brisbane um, and we had 32-ish people come along and I booked out a room, I hired a conference room, I sorted out all the food so we had, you know, coffee and tea on arrival and morning tea and beautiful lunch and afternoon tea <laughs> and then half the people stayed for dinner as well, which was really fun. Um, I'm not going to tell people what happened there. If you were there, you know, <laughs> but it was fun. Um, but it was a really, really cool day. So I spent time with everybody at every table, um, people working away at stuff. It was really, really fun. And then connecting with each other, we did a bit of show and tell, had a few prizes, and it was just a really chill, relaxed, fun day. And the feedback I got from it was that people enjoyed it. So it was really cool. It was kind of like the feeling you get from being on a retreat, but on a day. So you could just leave everything at home and come and have some fun for the day. So I will be doing another one again, but I'll talk about that a bit later on in a different place. Anyway, that was Brisbane. That was really fun and we caught up with other family and did other things there. Then we went to Mount Tambourine, which is sort of inland from the Gold Coast, up in mountain, obviously, Mount Tambourine. And we stayed in a rainforest retreat there, which was so lovely. It was just beautiful and peaceful after being in the city and the crazy roads and that. Ah! Um, it was just lovely to be somewhere quiet and peaceful. <laughs> um, but while I was while I was there, I did a couple of workshops. Um, I drove down to Bean Lee to Mean Mothers. I did some workshops there. And then the last workshop day was Hi Sue. <laughs> um, was 
um, I went to String Harvest, which is where I got the rope that I made my radiance pattern with and had a lovely morning there. That was super fun. That was a really nice way to, to finish off. Um, if you've never been there, it's a great place. Really, really cool. Um, and then we started walking and working our way home. We took our time. We spent a couple of nights here, a couple of nights there and got home. And yeah, it was, it was way too fast. It really, really was, but it was really fun. And it was good that hubby had to get, got a break for four weeks from work and stuff as well. So that was really, really cool. <clears throat> and then um, I did a bit of catching up at home and I had an, then I had another holiday <laughs> because I was working and stuff while we were away and I just needed you know just some time away from everything so I didn't look at Instagram once for a whole week I didn't even open the app which is just unheard of for me <laughs> so um, yeah I had a break from social media I did a couple of emails that were important um, but that was it for the week and I painted my lounge room and the hallway and the entryway and um, I crocheted a lot, but I was designing, just doing fun stuff, because that's what I love to do most. So that was a really lovely week off. Then I've been back at it this week. I can't, I've lost track of the weeks already. It's this time of year, who can keep track of time? Um, <clears throat> yes, but I've been, this time of year, because it's fairly quiet, you know, business-wise, work-wise, I've been doing a lot of planning and thinking about the past year, what I want to happen for next year. And that's, that's, I've now, I've had some big thoughts. <laughs> I'm going to change a few things about what I'm doing. Um, yes, but what can I, what do I want to tell you about first? Um, so I think my thoughts mainly about 2022 was it was a super fun year. Way fun. I, I travelled so much. I can't even tell you how many workshops I've taught and retreats and things that I've done, I, I don't know. But it's been super duper fun. But it's also been way too much. <laughs> I have just not had a chance to do what I wanted to do, um, you know, creatively and publishing wise. So it was great. I think it was kind of a hangover from 2020, 2021, being shut up and not being able to go anywhere. And I just went for everything, everything. I said, yes, let's go, let's do it. Let's have fun. And it was great and I loved it. But yeah, as I say, it was just too much. I, some months I was away three weekends out of a month. It's, that's just nuts. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I do like my home. And, you know, I did marry my hubby for a reason. I would like to see him occasionally. <laughs> um, he can come with me sometimes, but not all the time. So, yeah, it was great, but it was very busy. So next year I want to do less. I did have a lot to catch up on and I certainly caught up. <laughs> um, so I've been thinking I want to pull back on that a little bit. Like I still do it because I still love it. I still love doing workshops and events and things, um, retreats. But I'm going to pull it back a little bit so that I've got space and time to create and to get new stuff out there and to take my time and enjoy it. Because, you know, I don't do this to hustle. I do this because I enjoy what I do. And there's a fair bit of hustle going on this year that was just, I need, I need some more space. <laughs> so I've created it. I've come up with a plan. Yes, there are the first half of next year is still going to be crazy busy and fun. Like there's nothing bad in it. It's all fun stuff. Um, but I'm going to be a lot more considering when I think about what other things I'm going to do. So, <laughs> and that's exactly right, Sharon. That's exactly what I'm doing, including more me time. Um, so last week was awesome because I just sat and designed pretty much after I finished my painting, I sat and designed for days on end and, and I just loved it, loved it, loved it. And I want to do more of that. Um, so I, I'll tell you what I have got planned already for next year and you'll, you'll see what I mean. So February, I am going to Hobart to do some workshops on the 18th and 19th of February with Sarah at Bombed Yarns and it's going to be so fun. We're doing... <clears throat> two workshops on the Saturday, um, which is reading patterns and charts in the morning, and then in the afternoon teaching vinyl revival, which was the pattern that my cal that I did this year. Um, I'm teaching that for the first time, so that'll be fun. So we'll be listening to the playlist and you know having some fun when we do that. And then on the Sunday we're doing a one day class, a whole day where we just work on one big square from Granny Square Patchwork. That's super cool. 
Um, now Sarah's going the extra mile. It's going to be so fun. She's actually designed because she she dyes yarn. That's 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 what she does. She's actually come up with a, a Shelley Blue yarn <laughs> that's actually in its in, its, in the post on its way to me now that I'm going to use to make some samples for the workshops. But um, this special Shelley Blue is going to be available just to people who come to the workshops. I think. Um, yeah, that's a very special thing <laughs> and she's organized all this food and fun activities and all sorts of things so the sunday is almost sold out um but there are still a couple of places in the saturday classes but sarah's also put together some deals so that you can either do like it's a bit you know if you want to do everything you can buy a package to do everything which is a little bit cheaper than individually or <laughs> yeah it'll be fun <laughs> or you can do all day saturday that kind of thing so I'll put a link in the comments after we finish this or up in the description um, to where you can book for that or you can go to my website or Sarah's website and you'll find all the information. Anyway, then March, early March, I'm booked to go and do the Yarn Creative Retreat at Barossa, which I did this year, which was super fun. Um, then something new that I just found out last week is I am going to be a stall holder at Fiber Feast in Adelaide next year. So Fiber Feast, I've never been. It's kind of like, you know, indie yarn people who go and have it like a big market. And this next year, it's um, it's changing. It's going to be bigger than Ben-Hur. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> um, and, yeah, so it's being held in conjunction with a like a big sort of fair. So, you know, think about Sheep Show. Then you go sheep show, but with more stuff for the kids and that sort of stuff. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, so it'll be fun. It's going to be super fun. Hi, sitting watching the Torquay Torquay Beach listening. Oh, lovely! <laughs> Hi, Sandra. I was talking about our Brisbane day just before. Sandra was just popped in. She was one of the people at our Brisbane day, which was super fun. Um, yeah, so where was I? So Fiber Feast. Yeah, so oh, first time ever I've been there, but a lot of my fibery friends are going to be there as well. Um, Great Ocean Road, Mill, the Pearl Box Girls, um, a few other people. Yeah, it's going to be good to catch up. Um, so that's exciting. So it's on the 26th of March. And while I'm in town, as I'm travelling over, you know, there might be the possibility of a workshop or two, perhaps. <laughs> I'm talking to somebody. I haven't actually organised anything yet, but it's probably going to happen. So around the end of March, if you can. <laughs> um, in April, there's a couple of things that I don't have details on that I've said I'm going to do. They're both regional Victoria, Australia, one sort of northish and one westish, um, but I don't have any details for that. May, another young creative retreat, the Blue Mountains, one that was supposed to be September last, no, yeah, September last year got postponed to next year. Um, so that's happening in May. June, the Crochet Guild of Australia conference is happening in Sydney. And I'm going along to that. And I can't tell you much more than that at the moment. But that'll be exciting. <laughs> July, um, we have a sheep show, Bendigo sheep show in the middle. And I'll probably stay and do some workshops at the Wooden Mills again after that. But the other big thing, the end of June and July, is I have organised my own retreat. <laughs> Well, I'm not calling it a retreat. I'm calling it a, an escape, a crochet escape. So just like my day, there's, there's not going to be classes and things like that. Because it's just a time to... Oh, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, it's a time to get just get away from life for a little while because, you know, you know what the world's like at the moment. There's, we just seem to be on a, a doom roll if you think about it too much so it's nice to just to get away from everything and just muck around with like-minded people so i've organized everything to go it's happening at lawn the 29th of june which is a thursday afternoon so we arrive thursday afternoon dinner is our first event then all day friday all day saturday and sunday morning and then we have lunch on sunday and then everybody goes home but everything's included so all of your meals all of your accommodation, um, all you need to do is decide what project you're going to bring and rock up, really. And you have to get yourself there. Um, so Lawn's a couple of hours drive from Melbourne on the Great Ocean Road on the coast. It's a super lovely spot. Um, 
it's not hard to get to at all. Um, and at the mantra in the lawn, so I've been talking to them and I've organised everything. Um, I sort of kind of did a, a soft launch, is what they call it. <laughs> um, I just asked if people would be interested to send me their email address and I just sent out the information to everybody who did that, like the week, a couple of days before I left in November. And it's pretty much sold out already, but <laughs> I have just yesterday put the information up publicly for the first time and there are about roughly five spots left um, if you are keen. Hi Sam, <laughs> if you're keen to come along and join us. So um, yes, I will put a link up to that as well, or you can just go to my blog and you'll see it there. Um, and so how it works is you pay a deposit um, and then I send you an invoice for whichever, it depends, you've got a few options with room stuff you can share with somebody, either a partner who's not going to join in or a friend who's going to be part of the, the fun or you can have your own room, there's a few different options. So if you go to my web page, it'll give you all the information you need to know. I really have tried to think of everything. So, and I'm gonna be in constant contact with everybody who's coming along once a month until we go. I sent my first update email yesterday to everybody. Hi, <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to it. I've got it all planned. Um, I have got a friend coming along to help me because, you know, I can't be there on the own on my own answering all questions and figuring stuff out so my friend Jo is um, she's helping me out she's going to be there as the you know the helper the the admin person the who do I go to if I need something person um, and she is super organized we've been having lots of fun meeting up and talking about all the little fun plans we've got we've got some little secret things and some fun plans I'm hoping to have guest speakers come along um, got some special little prizes and little gift bags and things um, yeah it's going to be super fun I'm really looking forward to it so that's I'm going to do that my plan is at the moment I'll do one of those once a year I don't want it to become the thing that I do it's just another thing that I want to do it's going to be so fun Sam <laughs> Sam's coming along <laughs> there's a few other really people that I'm really excited about being there as well um, yeah so fun times, fun times. Yeah, so my big plan is every year, this is my built-in space year, is I do one escape thing somewhere, a different state every year. I'll do one day a year, a different city every year. I will do one book a year <laughs> to be finished by July. And I'll do one crochet along every year. I've been doing two crochet alongs a year for the last three years I think three or four years there's too many that's crazy I need to do one and do it well um, and that will be much better for everybody <laughs> so that's my plan for the year so after next year um, that's what I will be doing going on that's, that's what I think will work best for me you know and I do five a feast and do sheep show um, and just be have you doing all of those things so yeah, fun times. So do you want to see what I've been working on? I'm guessing you probably do. <laughs> okay, so I've got, as I said last year, I didn't have time because I was away so much to get stuff out there. So this time last year, this bag here, <laughs> I had actually finished making, there's like, <laughs> There's 12 different squares and I've made, I don't know, I can't even remember how many I've made, six or something each of every one. They're all done. It's all there. Um, I've got yarn in there ready to make, um, do the round by round photos and record the videos. I've got enough squares there to make a blanket. And that what that project is, is Granny Square Academy 2. Now I finished designing everything and making all that this time last year. And the plan was I was going to write that book this year. It didn't happen. It just didn't happen. There was no time. There was no, I really need dedicated chunks of time to be able to sit down and concentrate on doing all the things that I need to do. Some of the words are written, but I need to go back and do the round by round help. And I need to record the video. And I need to do all the editing. And I need to do the round by round photos. And there's a lot of work to do. But I'm excited about that. So the plan is Granny Square Academy 2 will be out July 2023. January and February, I'm just going to be, that's it. That's all I'm going to be doing as much as I can, apart from normal everyday work. 
And then, <laughs> um, I mentioned that I was designing all last week and I started designing the Cal project for next year because it's fun times. And I wanted it to be kind of like Nimue, so one, a, a really big blanket, but all one piece. There's not going to be a round of smaller squares. It's just going to be one big square. And I'm going to keep it secret. I'm not going to share what it is, but I'm hopeless. So this is the back, okay? You can't see the details. This is the back. That's what I've designed so far. <clears throat> and I've now run out of yarn. <laughs> so that's why I've stopped. Otherwise, I'd still be going on it. Um, so yay, that's it. And I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to, because I've done cows for many, many years now, like 10 years, I think. And I've done them differently pretty much every time. And I'm going to do it. <laughs> slow down. What do you mean slow down? I am slowing down. <laughs> I'll show you again. No, because it's the back. It's a secret. I'm not going to show you again. No, no. <laughs> Um, yes, so I am going to, what was I saying? I've forgotten. Yeah, I need more yarn, and then I'll keep going with that, the design of that. Um, and that's going to be, I'm thinking the cow will go September, October next year, about eight weeks. <laughs> um, yes, so that's that. What else I've been doing? So when I went on my big trip, I thought, I know. <laughs> um Okay, Sharon, you've got the Nimue book. In the back of the book, there's a, pa a page called Helpful Links. If you go to the website listed there, you'll find all the links you need to all the videos. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's going to be fun. So October, November. Hello. Hi, Vicky. <laughs> um, whoops, that's fallen on the ground. So, yes, on my big trip, I thought... Woohoo! I have going to have so much crochet time. I'm going to be passenger in the car. We're driving. I'm going to be, have so much relaxing time. I'm going to do this. So I, I picked up one of the um, a pattern that I've designed for something else. I'll talk to you about in a minute. And I picked up some yarn that's fallen on the floor way over there um, that I bought back in March this year. And I decided I was going to. This is going to be my thing. Hi, hello, Canada. <laughs> Um, hi Judy. So this is just a, a pattern that I'll tell you about in a minute. It's, it's a good one. It's a solid one. It's relatively easy to do. Patterns in my head already. I'll get heaps done. So I made that much of one square in the entire four weeks. That's it. <laughs> I just didn't. I don't know. I just, maybe I just needed a break. I mean, I did other crochet, like in the workshops and things like that, but I just needed a break, I think. Um, but since I've been home, this is actually probably the last three days. That's what I've, I've been doing every evening, afternoon. I think I've made 11 squares now. Yeah, and I've got, I've just started my second um, ball of yarn and I'll probably get, I think I'm going to go for 18 and then I'm going to do something with the 18 squares. Yeah, so that's what I've been crocheting with. This is lovely wool. Um, it's a local to me wool, um, Leecham Farm, which is in South Australia. They're going to be at the Fiber Feast too. Um, hope, maybe I'll even have this ready to wear by then. Anyway, <laughs> fun times. Um, yes, so that's that. So where the pattern for this one comes from, <laughs> I, need to, I need to slow this machine down. <laughs> so I have this other bag here. Oh, of stuff. And this is my, the book patterns for the book for 2024. <laughs> so there's a stack of squares in here. I've shown these before. I haven't been keeping these secret. I've been sharing them as I've designed them during the year on Instagram and all that sort of stuff. And that's one of the patterns that I was, that I'm making there is one of these. If I can find it. Nope. Oh, here it is. Yeah, so that's the same pattern that I'm making here. So this is eight ply cotton, and it works out to be about nine inches. And this is four ply wool, and it's working out about six and a bit inches. So I think it's smaller, but it all still works. Anyway, 
So I'm going to continue to keep designing because that's what I, I love to do. So I'm making sure that I'm designing every week because I'm keeping my design muscles going. So designing the cowl and designing more patterns for this. So this, this book is going to be a bit more like Granny Square Patchwork. So three different size squares that you can mix and match and make things. So that's going to be one. Of, this is going to be one of the projects that's going to be in it. But also, I've got this to show you. If I can make this work. So when I was oh, at um, String Harvest in, in the Gold Coast doing the Radiance Rug Workshop. So for the original one, I got these three millimetre wool. Wool recycled rope cotton rope <laughs> to make my samples and that's what I was everyone was using in the workshop but I was there and I whenever I go to a workshop I like to get some yarn from wherever I'm doing it and use that in my workshop and in this case I picked up some seven millimeter rope so super chunky to use as my demonstration and oh, this is what I made <laughs> So this is just 10 rounds of my radiance pattern. Um, it's quite chunky, as you can see. It's really heavy. <laughs> I used, what, two and a half of these to make it. Just 10 rounds. <laughs> I used a 15 millimeter hook. I probably could have gone a bit bigger. and um, It would have been a little bit easier on my hands. But by the end of it, I was sore. <laughs> My hands, I had to lean it on the table to actually work it and move it around. It was so big. Anyway, so this is going to be a project in that book as well because what I've done is I've taken this circle part here. Um, I don't have the sample with me, I don't think. Anyway, I have squared off this part. So in the book will be a squared off version of this of the radiance part. Radiance squared, I've called it. Very original. <laughs> So that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that. Um, what else am I going to do? Oh, just for a bit of fun. Just, you know, because let's add something else into the mix. This is not onerous. This is just something I would be doing anyway. So I've decided in 2023, I am going to save all of my ends. So I've got this little very old, very 90s crackle glass, fancy, <laughs> vase that I'm going to store my ends in and I'm going to keep them for the whole year. But I'm going to fill this in no time. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. Maybe a month that might get you through. I don't know. I've got a bigger vase and I'm going to transfer them too. So I'll be able to see a year in ends because it's quite a tall vase, the other one that I had. And I'm also, so I've got a new planner this year. I changed planners. Um, and the one that I got this year came in this box, which I thought was just weird. But for this, this is the box that the planner came in. <laughs> I'm going to put all my yarn labels. So every ball of yarn that I use, I'm going to put the yarn labels in there as well. Just to sort of just a visual record of how much crochet I've done, really. Um, I'm not going to add up the meters or anything like that. I just want to, I just want to see visually how much what I do. That's about it. So um, yeah. There we are. Well, how long have we been? Oh, half an hour. Cool. That's not too bad. Um, does anyone have any questions for me about my plans or about any of the things that I already have out there? We'll see. I'll probably forget. <laughs> so that's my intention. I'm going to put it next to me on the couch and we'll see. <laughs> okay, it's a competition, is it? We're going to see who, who crochets the most, who has the biggest ends. No cheating by leaving really long ends. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, um, I don't think there's anything else that I have to share if any, no one has any questions. Ah, uh, how annoying, family. <laughs> I suppose everybody's finished schools and stuff now. Everybody's going to be home and getting excited next week if you're a Christmas celebrator in your family. Um, 2023 plans. Yeah. Um, it's it's cool. It's big. Wine bottles. Well, there you go, Sandra. I haven't heard of anyone doing that before. That'd be pretty. <laughs> Better than dripping a candle down them. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I think that's it. If you have any questions at any other time, just pop a link in the comments or anything. Um, or send me an email. Whatever you like to do. Download my app, send me a message via that. I don't mind. Okay. 
I think I will leave it there. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a wonderful festive season if you celebrate it. If not, have a nice relax if you can while everything's quiet. <laughs> That'd be cool. Excellent. Thank you very much. <laughs> have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.